Right, so year three, heat is the main thing for us to focus on this term. Um, wanting us to think about how it can change states of matter. You could look at the kitchen for some really great ideas as well. If you think about um, popcorn and the corner, the kernels of... <laughs> I've got Reuben here. Do you remember Reuben? Some of you th year threes all remember Reuben. He's decided to join in with science. Um, this is the little one that I fostered when you were in year one. So heat can play a role in um, transforming our co uh, kernels of, of corn to popcorn, our bread to toast, um, our marshmallows to toasted marshmallows. We know that. How, how about things like metal, glass, sand? We have a couple of clips that you may have already watched about how the firefighters can control and manage heat and how heat plays a role in their lives. And the other video to look at too was the Indigenous Australians and how they used um, heat in making adhesives and resin in their, in their beautiful um, storytelling through their, um, their body decorations and also through their, their art. So uh, heat is very important. If you haven't clicked on those videos, there's two, click on those now. But for the last task, I'd like you to, um, look, earn some brownie points because you can be in the kitchen offering the help with dinner, but also pleasing your science teacher by experimenting a bit. You might offer to um, see the effects of heat while you are perhaps boiling some water and observe that. Now, if you're really keen, I know that Jack and Felix sent in a science video last lockdown. Make a little snippet. Make a, a video of yourself experimenting um, with heat in the kitchen with permission. Don't make a mess unless you've asked permission. And, um, and, and send it in if you like on Sector, and I'd love to share it with you, with the rest of the class. Or at least go in there and... Um, Boil the kettle. Make a coffee for mum and dad. There you go. Look at that. You'll already be experiencing liquid and gas without even realising. And your mum and dad will thank you because they got a cuppa out of it. So that's the lesson. Um, feel free to explore YouTube and find out more about states of matter. We'll talk about heat energy next lesson. If we are not together, then I will come up with a, uh, a better way of delivering the lesson through Inquisitive possibly, where you can access it from home. Or I might even get the kids to um, film me doing some science in the kitchen of my own. Um, thanks for listening. I'm sorry if this was a little bit too long in talking. But um, at least you have seen me. And I will see you in the flesh hopefully very soon. And um, happy experimenting.